this is so cool. <laughs> Hey everyone, Andy from Single Trap Magazine here, and as you can see, we're in my shed, but we won't be here for very long because I've got my riding kit on, I've got a new bike, and you and I are gonna grab a GoPro and hit the trail. But before we do, I wanna show you something that I think is really cool, and Shimano says is revolutionary, and that's this, the brand new Shimano EP8 motor, the successor to the already very good Shimano E8000, but this is even better and in every single way. Well, what I'm gonna show you now as we set off is how you can turn the EP8 on without throwing an error message. So with the E8000, if you had your foot on the pedal, you'd get a W013 message if you turn the motor on and that would prevent you from going until you turned it off and turned it back on again. The EP8 handles that much better, which I'll show you now. So as you can see, I've got my foot on the pedal and I'm gonna turn it on and as you can see no error message now you can even pedal it you can actually ride the bike as long as you're not putting too much pressure through the, the uh, motor and the torque sensor you can actually pedal it quite lightly and turn the motor on and off it's only when you are really cranking it or you're putting a lot of pressure on that the error message comes up so it can happen just not as often we're just heading up to my trails which are just down the road from me we've got the merida e160 fully charged it's a 630 watt hour battery and according to the system in eco mode we've got a range of 110 miles in trail we have a range of 55 miles and in boost we have a range of 36 miles so obviously that's at the start of the ride it depends how you ride, where you ride, how fit you are, which mode you use, and on this bike, which profiles you're using. But it'll be interesting to see how far we can go in a full charge today. So uh, we're heading uphill now, and we'll see how it goes. I just want you to listen to the motor. So I'm in trail mode, climbing uphill, and you can still hear it, but it's not that super noisy whir, or noticeable whir of the E8000. It's a much quieter sound. I put it into boost. A bit more noticeable, but still hardly loud. <clears throat> and what you notice is just how smooth it is. Like even now, hit it to boost. There's no sudden lurch of power. It's very, very well controlled, very well mannered. Okay, so imagine this. You're coming up a hill, it gets too steep, and now you need to use the walk mode. But on the E8000, <coughs> if you had your chain up here, you'd need to change it down here to get the warp mode to work, but not anymore, not with EP8. So you check this out, just uh, trail, eco, off, walk, watch this, and off she goes. Up to four miles an hour uphill. You can see it's running with that bigger gear on the back. It's even spinning the wheels. And it's way better than it was before. It was a bit of a struggle before, especially if you had to get off and then change your gear. But look at this, look at that. It's scampering up there. And the rain's coming in. Let's see if we can get back. Oh. Now, one thing about range, I'm sure a lot of you are gonna ask, how far can it go? Well, it's how long is a piece of string, really. So my first ride on the bike, I was out with uh, Andrew Mee, who is the Merida rep for the UK, and he was on a bike with an E8000 and a 500 watt hour battery. Now, because the E8000 isn't as quick, I had to keep it in eco and trail more often on the EP8, and it meant that I could do 40k and still have two bars of battery left. 
So there's one and I'll show you my stats for that climbing and everything in the overlay. Now yesterday I went out for a quick one, about 39 minutes, about 13k and about 430 meters of climbing, all in boost. And I used one bar of battery, which is just incredible, I think. Now today I've used a mix of eco and boost, sorry, trail and boost. And uh, boosted up most of the climbs. And I've done over a thousand meters of climbing, about 23k so far, two hours. And I've got two bars left. So, yeah, range is a funny one and can't really be answered simply. It all depends where and how you're riding, what mode you've got it in, how you've tuned it, how fit you are, who you're riding with. But uh, I'll upload those, that info for you. And it'll be interesting to see what other people are getting out of it. But yeah, if you're riding with someone else on a slower E8000, you could probably get about 50k, I reckon. But they'd have to take an extra battery. If you're riding by yourself and hammering it, I reckon 35ish, but you're gonna be smashing it. You could probably extend that a lot more. Walk mode will now work. Look, I'm gonna try and go up this hill. I don't know if it'll do it. So it should do four miles an hour. Oh, look at this, I'm going to feel like this. This is pretty cool, like, I'm not pedaling. No way, this is so cool. <laughs> So yeah, okay. People who say you bikers are lazy, this is lazy. I wonder how much battery I'm burning. Oh, look at this, I'm going up the hill without pedaling. <laughs> so cool. Anyway, enough of that. Let's uh, let's not be lazy. Let's pedal. I'm going to tell you about another interesting feature on the EPA system. Put in boost. So the EPA now has a new application which. We've not been able to use yet because it comes out today, i.e. the day you're watching this video. And that application allows you to modify how the EP8 uses its power. So if you want, you can have boost using all 85 Newton meters, or you can knock it down to 60 if you want more range. What you can do then is load two profiles onto your bike so that when you're out riding you decide I want more power you can use your power profile but if you want more range you can use your range profile you can store two on your bike but you can store loads on the app so even if you're out and you think hang on I've got my Surrey Hills profile here but I'm in the Lake District it doesn't matter you can still get it off the app and you can change your profile on the move it's a really cool feature which i can't wait to try hopefully i can do that today at the release boosted up another hill another road because why not like it's more fun to get to the top quickly and ride down again than ride up this road so i'm boosting anyway let's talk facts and figures about the ep8 so EP8 has 85 newton meters of torque, 15 more than the old mod motor. Now, what that means is, if you're with someone who's on an E8000 motor, as I was on Monday, you'll find that if you're an eco and they're in trail, you'll keep up with them. And if you're both in trail, they'll have to use boost to stay with you. That's nuts. We're about 53 minutes into the ride. We're heading up our third climb for another descent. We've done almost 13 kilometers and we've used one bar of battery. <clears throat> and that's including two climbs in nothing but boost. So I'm impressed, very impressed with this battery and the efficiency of the EP8. 
good combo. Shimano has done with the EP8 system is they've updated this screen. This is a new smaller screen. It's still color, but now it has a wireless element to it. So you can actually connect to your Garmin. Now I don't use a Garmin, but with the EP8 I'd be tempted to because Shimano still use these bars to indicate how much battery you've got left. Now, for me, it's not ideal because on the E8000, you'd, you'd have two bars left and you're left guessing, do I have enough to come home? And then once you hit red, what is red? Is it 10%? Is it 5%? So I'd love if that was a percentage. Now, if you connect to your Garmin, you can actually show your battery percentage, which is a really neat feature. Something else is, which has been updated is this control. The E8000 used to have a underbar shifter, which everyone changed to the E7000 overbar button control. Shimano must realize that because the new E800 shifter is like that E8, E7000, but with a nicer button shape. So your thumb sits into it. So we're heading up to the top of the trail still. We're in trail, ooh, we've got two battery bars left. So this might be our last descent before we have to head back. But this is what I mean about a percentage would be way better. Situation update, I'm on red. It went on red at about 26.36 kilometers. <coughs> So we'll see how far red light Okay, so in the video you just saw me in, I promised you some stats on riding. So here's my iPhone. I'm gonna tell you how far I went in that previous ride. So in the ride you've just seen me do, my total distance was 30.65 kilometers. There was a total of 1,237 meters of climbing and I was out for two hours and 14 minutes. Now. I did play around a bit. Obviously you didn't see the complete ride on there and I made a few mistakes. I think I said I've done three climbs at one point and I've done four or five. So a lot of climbing there. I used boost more than I uh, wanted to, basically because I was having so much fun on the downhills. But anyway, let me go through those stats again. I'll put them up here. 30.65 kilometers, 1,237 meters of climbing and that's two hours and 14 minutes and I got to the red bar on my battery. It didn't run out, got me home, and I didn't go into emergency eco mode, so that's pretty decent. Now, uh, I always say that uh, range on an e-bike is very dependent on the modes, your fitness, the ride, what you're doing, and I tend to find that if I'm riding by myself, I can burn through a battery really quickly, and I think that's what happened today on that ride. Um, basically just enjoy myself, use the boost a bit too much. But then again, you can surprise yourself. So for example, just yesterday, um, I did 12.57 kilometers, 463 meters of climbing, and that ride was just 39 minutes and 10 seconds. And I did that entire ride in boost, and I used one bar of battery. So <laughs> that's pretty nuts. That ride was much drier. Um, there was only perhaps two climbs in there and uh, again, yeah, completely boosting. So it is the boost and the climbs that eats the battery. Now for the first ride that I ever did on the EP8, that was with another rider, Andrew Me, who is from Merida, and he was on the same bike as me, except his bike had an E8000 motor and it had the 504 watt hour battery. And we were out all day. We I mean, we did a lot of stopping and starting and chatting about the bike and everything. We were out for about three hours and 12 minutes. We did 38.94 kilometers and 1,340 meters of climbing. I only used three bars of battery in that ride. I still have two bars of battery left. We had to come back to Andrew's van so he could get a second battery in that older, on that older motorbike. So um, that's really interesting again. So, Riding with other people, especially with people on uh, less powerful motors, you're gonna go further. And I reckon on that day, 
we could have probably done 50 or 60k if we just you know took our time if you're out by yourself really smashing it you can eat the battery really really quickly but what i'm really excited about is the fact that the new shimano app will allow you to change your settings to suit where you're going to ride and i think that's going to be the game changer we're going to see some really impressive results for um, how far you can go how fast you can do a ride it's going to be pretty interesting so once i've given that a go i'll give you an update but that's all for today i hope you enjoyed my um, ride commentary if you've got any questions or comments about this video please let me know if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and please subscribe also, if you want to know more facts and figures about the EPA, check out my other video, which is already uploaded. And if you want to know more about the 2021 Merida E169000, I've got a bike check online too. So check that out. Thanks for your time and see you all soon. Bye-bye.